Welcome to Boundless Expeditions, where the thrill knows no bounds. Get ready for a roller coaster of heart stopping thrills and jaw dropping heights. In going viral, heart stopping thrills and incredible heights will unravel the stories of daredevils who defy gravity, push the limits, and leave us questioning what's humanly possible. From skydiving without a parachute to breaking the sound barrier, each tale is a wild ride. And hey, before we catapult into these adventures, let's keep the excitement going. Hit that like button, share with your adventure-loving pals, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Because when it comes to the extraordinary, we are your go-to channel for a wild ride. Now buckle up, because we're about to embark on jaw-dropping journeys that redefine what's possible. Luke Akins Imagine jumping out of an airplane at 25,000 feet with no parachute. Luke Akins, a pro skydiver, just did that, making history on July 30th, 2016. No parachute, no wingsuit, just a GPS and guts. Luke spent two years preparing for this jaw-dropping stunt with 1.5 years of planning and six months of intense training. He's a third-generation skydiver and a safety expert, so he knows the risks. On the big day, he leaped out of a Cessna plane, reaching a crazy 120 miles per hour in freefall. Wearing an oxygen mask from the first 10,000 feet, he aimed for a tiny 100 by 100 foot net suspended between 200 foot cranes. With just a GPS, he lined up his fall and, at 200 feet above the net, he flipped onto his back. The net, aptly named the Flight Trap, slowed him down using compressed air cylinders, setting a world record for the craziest jump ever. No wingsuit, no parachute, just pure adrenaline and a safe landing. Luke Akins, the skydiving legend. Felix Barmagartner. Now hold on to your hats for the heart-stopping tale of Felix Barmagartner the daredevil who danced with the sound barrier and shattered records high above the New Mexico desert. Picture this, 127,852 feet above Earth. Felix took a leap from the Red Bull Stratus Project's supersonic freefall, making him the first human to break the sound barrier and without a plane, of course. At speeds reaching a mind-bending 1,375.6 kilometers an hour, it wasn't just a jump. It was a symphony of daring maneuvers and adrenaline-pumping thrills. Baumgartner's feet not only outpaced Captain Charles Yeager's legendary X-1 aircraft from seven decades ago, but set a new standard. Breaking altitude, speed, and freefall records, he plunged from a specially constructed balloon at a jaw-dropping 39 kilometers, surpassing the altitudes frequented by commercial jets. Imagine a world where Felix's jump, reaching 39 kilometers, is a dreadful stunt several times higher than the typical competition-level skydives. As Felix soared to 25,300 feet, Mission Control faced an unexpected challenge, a faceplant heat issue. Yet amid the intense drama, the decision was made to push forward, showcasing the unwavering spirit of this stratospheric adventure. The competition level skydiving speeds usually hover around 400 to 500 kilometers an hour, but our friend Felix outshone them all. When he broke the sound barrier, hurtling at 1,357.6 kilometers an hour, he not only secured the world record for fastest skydiving ever, but left us all wondering, could another stratospheric skydive top this extraordinary feat? Mike Hughes now let's talk about Mike Hughes, but before we dive into the unforgettable tale of Mike Hughes, let's take a moment to pay tribute to a fearless daredevil. While most of these adventurers come out unscathed, there's an undeniable risk. Sadly, Mike Hughes, in pursuit of his dreams, tragically lost his life. In a heart-wrenching turn of events, the parachutes on his homemade steam rocket failed to deploy, leading to a catastrophic crash in the sagebrush near Barstow, California. Mike's initial plan was nothing short of audacious. He aimed to float miles high in a balloon, capturing the entire journey to the 62-mile-high barrier that separates our atmosphere from the cold vacuum of space. However, reality had different plans, and the outcome was not what anyone expected. Speaking of daring feats and unforeseen outcomes, there's another thrill-seeker whose last stunt took an unexpected turn. Stay tuned as we unravel the story of yet another adventurer who dared to defy the odds in our top three heart-stopping thrills and incredible heights. Join us as we salute the daring spirit of Mike Hughes and brace ourselves for the next riveting chapter in this viral series. Alan Eustace In the fall of 2014, Alan Eustace geared up in a specially designed spacesuit, tethered himself to a colossal helium-filled balloon and soared into the skies above New Mexico. At the age of 66, 
Eustace embarked on a gravity-defying adventure that would etch his name in the annals of skydiving history. Brace yourself for this. From a mind-boggling height of 135,899 feet, Alan Eustace executed the highest freefall parachute jump ever recorded. Plummeting at speeds of 822 miles per hour, he not only reached incredible velocities, but also broke through the sound barrier, leaving an indelible mark on the world of extreme sports. Eustace's daring feat wasn't just about breaking records, it was a technological marvel. His team invented cutting-edge technologies, including the groundbreaking life support system integrated into his suit, aptly named Stratax. This breakthrough innovation enabled Eustace to brave the stratosphere without the traditional capsule for life support. Alan Eustace's spacesuit, a symbol of human ingenuity, now resides at the Stephen F. Duvar Hazy Center in the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum in Chantilly, Virginia, a testament to the heights humans can reach when pushing the boundaries of exploration. Join us as we salute Alan Eustace, the stratospheric pioneer, and unravel the tale of the highest freefall. Brian Grubb Gear up for the most mind-blowing spectacle as we dive into the heart-stopping journey of the wig border extraordinaire Brian Grubb. In a fearless escapade that left the world gasping, Grubb took his love for wakeboarding and base jumping to soaring heights. Brian Grubb isn't your average thrill seeker. He's the mastermind behind a 77-story base jump that kicked off with a rooftop wake skate in Dubai. Imagine gliding across the skyline, propelled not by a speedboat, but a six-foot drone. The adrenaline rush didn't stop there. Grubb plunged over the edge, hit a ramp, and soared into the sky with a base jump, descending a mind-blowing 294 meters before touching down on the beach below. Coined as Wake Base, this unprecedented stunt had been Grubb's dream for seven years, and it became a reality in the dazzling city of Dubai. Red Bull sponsored and wearing custom Prada Linea Rosa performance gear, Grubb didn't just break records, he redefined the limits of what's possible in extreme sports. Picture Grubb, dressed in sleek Prada attire, taking flight with a drone custom designed by Substantian Stare. The white ramp, branded by Red Bull, echoed with a roar of innovation. But the glam didn't just stop at the visuals, it was about pushing boundaries and embracing the unexpected. With only 26 base jumps under his belt just last December, Grubb trained extensively with base jumping expert Miles Dacia. A two-time wakeboard world champion turned sky-high pioneer, he has now etched his legacy in Dubai's address beach resort and the world's memory. Woo! What an adrenaline-fueled journey through heart-stopping thrills and incredible heights. We hope you enjoy being on the edge of your seat as we dive into the extraordinary feats of daredevils who redefine what's possible. If these jaw-dropping tales left you craving more exhilarating adventures, you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for the next leg of our boundless expeditions. Share the excitement with fellow thrill seekers and drop a like if these stories made your heart race. Remember, the sky is not the limit, it's just the beginning of the boundless possibilities that await. Until next time, adventure awaits and we'll see you on the flip side.